Cars 2. I think I can confidently say that a lot of people are nostalgic for the Cars 2 merchandise. I was 9 at the time of the release of the movie and remember everything about that era. My mom and family members in general bought me so much of their merchandise throughout 2011. Whether it be the Cars 2 video games on the Wii or DS, collecting all the Microdrifters, building the impressive Lego sets, or looking at all the different diecasts there were to collect. No doubt the Cars 2 merchandise era was something else. The movie was a total flop to many, sure, but the merchandise was a huge step up compared to Cars 1. So today, we're going to be taking a look at some very nostalgic Cars 2 Airhog products from Spin Master. This company made some great Cars products during its run. Whether it be the Real Toe Mater or Lightning McQueen, the 124 scale remote control cars with moving eyes collection, or the micro RC vehicles that would pop a wheelie when you would put a penny on the back. These products were just too damn good to not like. I'm pretty sure everyone owned one of these Air Hogs products at one point. Recently, I asked you all as my audience what type of content you guys would like to see throughout this year, and there was a pretty big demand for merchandise reviews of Cars 2. So today, we're going to be taking a look at two Airhog products I recently picked up on eBay for decent prices. For $60 each, that's not too bad considering how old they are and discontinued. I used to have the Mater counterpart of this toy as a kid, but over time and several years of play, it stopped working, but it served its purpose as a toy, and it was loved and donated. So I'm excited to relive a bit of my childhood through a toy I haven't really had in my hands in years. Finn McMissile, on the other hand, is completely new to me. When I was a kid, and given the choice between the two, I obviously picked Mater. But I mean, honestly, who didn't? So, let's look at their packaging and get on to the review. So, Mater's box is damaged, but it doesn't matter because we are going to open this guy. The seller did say it was damaged, so don't think it did come like this. And I was fully aware of what I was buying. But the reason I got it like this, it's because, well, it's complete. It's never been used. It's just a damaged box. So looking at the packaging, it is called the Tomator Missile Firing. Uh, and that's it. Then it says a bunch of other languages. Air Hogs RC, ages 5 and up. And man, it's great to have this guy again in my collection. We will compare the scale of this guy to other toys from like Mattel and Jada and what have you. And there on the back of the box, it tells you about Finn McMissile and the features of the remote and what Mater does. So let's go ahead and open this guy right open. All right. So on the bottom, this is what I mainly wanted a new one for. So I could have the brand new instructions and the thing a lot of the used ones are missing. The missiles and the targets of the Cars 2 lemons. So it's good to have that. Now I have to come along with scissors and basically untie this guy. So I guess we'll do a little time lapse or something. Yeah. There was no saving that box. Anyways, here we have Mater. Before we fire him up with batteries, because I don't think any are included. Are they? No, and even if they were, they would be dead. It's a decade old toy. So, you know, it looks like a classic Mater and everything until you actually start using the remote and the functions of it. Missiles come out and it does a bunch of other little sound effects. Now, the box to say he talks, but I don't remember what phrases this guy used to say. So that's going to be a little interesting to see what exactly he says. Maybe there's going to be like deleted dialogue from the second movie. Who knows? I'm just very, very happy to have these guys again. Well, Mater specifically. So let's take a look at the, the darts and the targets. And we'll go from there. So in this set, you get the little... Stands, two stand up, uh, Graham, Acer, and Professor Z. I don't know if Finn McMissile is going to have these same villains. I'm assuming it will, but taking a look at the instructions here, it tells you everything that comes inside remote, 10 missiles, three targets, sets that Mater talks, missile launcher, other languages. I don't know what language that is. And it tells you where the battery compartments go. Double A AA and triple A's are going to be needed. 
I looked at that and panicked for a second because I thought those were for some reason C batteries and I was like, crap, I don't have those on me right now. But thankfully it uses easy access batteries that you probably have somewhere in the house. So forward, reverse, like a normal RC car, left and right. If the vehicle turns to the left or to the right, you can tune it at the bottom with a little dial, which is pretty nice. Turn off the vehicle, blah, blah, blah. And on the back, it talks about the features. You open the right and left missile launchers by moving the missile door open and close switch, which should be, if I remember correctly, this one right here. Uh, I do remember this breaking on me as a kid though. So this little plastic piece is unfortunately a little flimsy and the remote isn't the best quality. It is kind of lightweight, but I mean, what can you do? And it talks about how you insert the missiles and the fire button. Is this one here at the top? It says fire. Press that and he's going to fire the missiles. And to retract the missiles, I think you just press the red button again. Or I think you just, yeah, you flick the switch back. Yeah. Return the launch, the launchers. and uh, Yeah, you switch the door and it'll close. When you have fired all of your missiles, the launchers will slightly retract back interesting so yeah it's a bit of a smart toy i mean that's something that cars 2 did well with their merchandising they took technology to their advantage and put a lot of you know fancy things into their toys because back when cars 1 came out i don't think they would have been able to do something with this many mechanics and stuff sure they had stuff like the walk and talk and mcqueen that was pretty advanced at the time but it just shows you how much more advanced these guys got so now let's go ahead and open finn mcmissile i'm gonna put mater to the side and we'll install batteries on him in just a second this is one of the boxes that i'm gonna try preserving only because well it's completely mint this one isn't damaged at all and i think i paid a pretty fair price the only thing i don't remember is how much these were going for back in the day like i said i had mater and i think that was maybe 60 bucks at Target back then. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I paid 60 on eBay plus shipping. So if I paid 60, I essentially paid retail price for these, which is pretty damn good. And like I said, Finn McMissile is fresh out of the box. Incredible looking. Here are the darts in the bottom. Missiles and everything else inside seems to be the same. Same with like the Targets, Graham, Acer, and Professor Z. So I'm going to keep these sealed. Because, I mean, we already have the ones from Mater. Instruction pack right here in different languages. You have, I'm assuming that's French, that's Spanish, and then you have English. And it's the same concept with the uh, the way it works and everything. You get 10 missiles. Finn McMissile does get like a little uh, target sight thing that pops out of uh, his hood. It's the difference between him and Mater. Same amount of batteries, same way he moves, same way you can dial the direction. Yeah, same concept. So we'll just use some of the extra missiles that Mater came with for Fenwick Missile. Okay. He came out a little easier than Mater. Kind of a lightweight little car. I would say this is 124 scale. I'm trying to see if it says on the box anywhere. But I'm pretty sure it is 124 scale. You'll correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And he does have rubber tires, which is pretty nice. That'll help with traction for sure. There are the doors. And the remote is going to be the difficult part because I really don't want to destroy the box. But I guess I kind of have to. As you saw with Mater, there was just no point of return. All right, well, I guess I have to do it. How, how would I even start this? Oh, there we go. That works. There we go. It wasn't as bad as Mater. Mater's box is for sure not going to be able to be preserved. These dials, I mean, are kind of stiff though, but then again, it's been locked up for over a decade. <sighs> come on. Okay, so forget the box. I had to completely demolish it. This is where we stand right now with this. I tried turning those knobs. Little plastic red thing got underneath the bottom of my 
nail and I started bleeding. This thing is stuck. It would not budge. It still won't budge. But I'm trying with the scissors to see if that'll get it out. Okay, I got that one out. But I don't understand who the hell would be wanting to steal a remote. Okay, it came out easy now. But that was made way too difficult. Now, here is the scale comparison. Here is a 155th scale die cast by Mattel. Tiny compared to these guys. And a Jada Lightning McQueen. They're kind of similar in size. That's why it's making me think this is 124 scale. But we also have the Walk and Talkin' McQueen, or Fast Talkin' McQueen. I think it's Walk and Talkin' McQueen. Yeah, this guy is a little too big in scale, so it doesn't really match these. This isn't exactly how I wanted this video to go, but I kind of had a feeling it was going to happen only because these are extremely old. But Finn McMissile's turning does not work. Straight out of the box, brand new. And I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm not going to go bash the eBay seller. This isn't his fault. It's just simply that happens over time with age. And it's been in box for so many years without use. Without any use for that matter. So, I'm not surprised. It does go forward and backwards, however. But it's just very slow to respond. It's not responding the way I want it to. Yeah, you see? Yeah, see? It, it sped up when I barely flicked it. The missiles don't come out either. It does talk, however. The sound effects come out all from the remote, not from the actual vehicle itself. Biden never gives up his sources. Finn Mac Missile, British intelligence. Is there any other way? Now, this isn't the first time something like this has happened to me. There's also the Lightning McQueen Alive by Mattel. It's a little diecast, or it's similar to diecast scale, kind of like this guy right here. But it has facial animations and whatnot, and I've always wanted to review that for the channel. I've bought three on eBay, and none of them work. They don't charge or work f at all, for that matter. And same thing, it's just a thing that happened over time with age. And it's something that hopefully doesn't happen to the Sphero Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, because that McQueen is just the best of the best. And I'm fearful now that over time, these amazing products are just going to stop working. Roger that. Move in. Those cars drive angry. Now, I did kind of like bang the table against a remote to see like if it would wake up or something. But so far, you know, maybe to just wake up the mechanics or something. And I put fresh new batteries in too. Yeah, it unfortunately doesn't work. Mater does, however, work. I'll show you him in a bit. But essentially... There we go. That's how the missiles should pop out. And that's how he essentially would look. Bit of a shame. I really wanted to play with that guy and test out his missile firing and whatnot. But Mater thankfully does work. Steering and everything. So hold on. You got to kind of reset it. It does fall asleep after a while. Or did I turn it off here? Yeah, I turned it off at the bottom. Yeah, so Mater works fine. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, back then, maybe 12 years ago, this was kind of like new technology for Cars toys. Cars products, I should say. Uh-oh. Yeah, a little unresponsive too, but at least the missiles come out with this one. The speaker sounds kind of distorted too. I Again, I'm not going to blame the person who sold me this because they were brand new. Never used and age just didn't do them well, unfortunately. Wait, wait, I didn't mean that kind of shoot. And now shoot, the second time, not the first. I wish I still had my original. Mine worked a little bit better than this one, to be honest. Because there is an animation. That phrase he just said of left, right, left, right, whatever. The missiles are supposed to flick up and down simultaneously. And it's not doing it. So they were supposed to go like, you know, like up and down, like flicker. And it's not doing it. So the mechanics are just not the same in this anymore. They've just 
aged poorly, I guess. Oh, my average intelligence. Wait, wait, I didn't mean that kind of shoot. And now shoot the second kind, not the first. <laughs> One thing I don't really remember is this guy not being able to talk if the missiles aren't out. That's the talk button. The fire button also would make him talk. Other than that, there's no, you know, press to speak or whatever. And of course, the steering is a little unresponsive. Look at that. <laughs> it's the infrared, I think, also. It's not as good as today. Oh, where are you going, dude? There we go. Well, I guess that essentially is going to wrap it up for the review on these guys. Not how I wanted it to go, but I mean, what can you do? They are kind of old and well, let me know if you still have one of these and does it work better than mine? They probably do. Or have they aged poorly like mine? Piston Cup Productions signing out and I will see you guys next time.